Good morning, YouTube. Oh, that was backwards. So I guess when I use this program, it records everything in reverse. That's my right hand, but it looks like my left hand. I had a rapture dream. That's what the title is going to be. I've never had one before. And before I start talking about what I saw in this dream, I want to mention a couple of things that I want you to notice that the Bible says in the last days, your old men will dream dreams, pretty close to an old man, and your young men will see visions. They'll just the vision is not like you're standing here and all of a sudden you're somewhere else. It's like you just start, your train of thought runs to an ideal and you envision something that happens. Now, <clears throat> in the Discord, Ken Potter has a room and in there he's described what a true dream is. And it is not, a true dream is not discombobulated, random thoughts, and then you wake up, you're like, wow, that was a crazy dream, and then you go back to sleep, and in the morning you have to work to remember what the dream was. So I woke up at about 3 o'clock in the morning after having this dream, and I was like, wow, that was crazy. And then I went to sleep, and then I woke up this morning. And I remember the entire dream like I was there. I've never had one of these before. It was kind of wild. So let me get into the dream. Again, it's not about the dream. Look around. It's about the fact that these dreams are coming in a, a, a lot higher frequency nowadays. Um, I never prayed for a dream. I mean, I wanted one. Sure. Why wouldn't I? But it's not something that I... Uh, I mean, I, I know it happens. Obviously, the Bible says it will. It's not something that I was trying to push. Uh, God's given me so much with understanding this Enoch calendar and exactly when the year begins and all these numbers that I've worked on, which I'm going to make a video on this also, um, probably later today. But I wanted to, to tell you about the dream. <clears throat> We're all sitting in my living room, me and my whole family. We're just sitting in there like we always are. Everybody kind of doing their own thing on their phones or watching television. The grandson's running around um, going nuts like he does. He's five. That's what he's supposed to do. And uh, all of a sudden, the ground starts trembling. And it's not a massive earthquake. It's like everything starts trembling. And I immediately know that the graves are being thrown open. I immediately know that in this dream. I'm getting shivers just talking about it. So I I jump up and I run outside. My family runs out there behind me, but it's weird because I don't know where I am. I just know that I'm outside and there's an entire community out there. Um, it would be like if I ran outside my house and the whole community was outside, but it was I have a little bit more. Uh, property so it would it would be tighter like a lot of people were outside and everybody was like what's going on and I said it's the rapture you don't know what's happening right now and I immediately went to my knees and I started praying as loud as I could the our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and everyone I don't want to say everyone. Some people stayed standing, um, shaking in fear, not knowing what was going on. But a lot of the people dropped to their knees with me and started praying this prayer. And I was holding my hands up to heaven while I was on my knees praying. And the most amazing thing is, <clears throat> it, I can't, it, it's, it, it, have, it's like your eyeball opening it's just like that it started opening up in the sky and just folding open like this <clears throat> and it wasn't a really fast process it was slow it was opening and i could see 
it was it was incredible. It was like it was like our sky was nothing but in the way of what's actually out there. I could see planets and things this like everything out there as the veil opened. Now, once the veil began to open, which was what struck me more than anything, was it became translucent and I could see on the other side as it opened because it, it's open here but on the other side of the of like i said it looks like an like an eyelid opening across the planet around the planet and what i could see through the veil was like angels just like angels or god or jesus i don't know i don't know what was over there they were enormous and you could see them now translucent through this part of the scroll, because the Bible says it opens like a scroll, through this part of the scroll that hadn't quite opened yet. And But it became possible to see through that translucent part because it had begun to open at the top. It was almost like, have you ever, like you have a window in your house that has a mirror uh tint on it nobody can see in until you turn the light on then they can kind of see shadows through it uh, same same principle so that was it i woke up that was it i didn't get, nobody went up we were we were at the moment where the dead were rising and uh we were waiting our turn that's where we were so anyway that's my rapture dream that happened last night and uh, remember it like it actually happened to me, which is crazy. Um, Repo Man 64, I wanted to make this all about this dream. Uh, remember, go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know. And you don't need to tell anybody. And accept the Lord into your heart. We are in the last days. Um, you, the veil is about to be pulled back. You're about to see some stuff. Men's hearts failing them for fear for what they're seeing so it's about to happen there's no more time you need to go and take and, and do this you know god's calling you and when he calls you it's hard to resist right so uh i'm going to put a link obviously in the bottom to the discord remember let me show you this where is it at when you come into the Discord, this is what you're going to see. This is the main meeting room. And everybody thinks, wow, this is boring. There's only one window. Swipe over. There you go. Boom. All of the windows right there. They're everywhere. We have um, Peyton at the bottom He's and, and Watchman Adam. They have their rooms. They have a lot of information that's good. I even have one right here. We have a Latin room. If you only speak Spanish, se puede... Hablar en español solamente hay un cuarto para ti en ese Discord. Colleen's room. She's a very faithful and uh, servant of the Lord. Uh, Wackadoodle Samoan, uh, Russ Wade. Ken, there's a lot of rooms here. Now, here's Ken Potter's room right here. Now, in here, if you go to Ken Potter's room and scroll back, or maybe I could ask Ken Potter to please repost what the definition of an actual dream is. And uh, you can uh, uh, discern, you can discern between an actual, like a, a dream and an actual dream from from heaven. So I don't know if mine qualifies. <laughs> uh, Ken Potter, I would ask him to uh, repost that so that people can go see what it actually qualifies uh, to uh, to have a, a, a rapture dream. So Repo Man 64, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't monetize anything here. Never have, never will. Uh, but when you subscribe, which I do appreciate, it, it grows every single day, and I really appreciate that. When you subscribe, um, it doesn't do anything, doesn't cost you anything, but it opens up different availabilities to me that YouTube has to offer the larger my group is. And that's uh, that's fantastic. But if we're going home here in a couple of days, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to talk about this, this uh, timeline that I built here. 
on the next video. Repo Man 64, please, we're out of time. It's a guy like me, a guy like me had a dream. It's time. It's time. Get get right. All right, how do I do this? I think I do this, and I think I do 